Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I'm out on my balcony and as you can see, I have a lot of plants um, that I am letting get acclimated to outdoor temperatures, wind, and all of the elements. And many of them have been out here now uh, for seven days and have been able to stay outside all night so they will be going into the greenhouse very shortly um, but i just wanted to also come on and share with you some other things that i've been able to do and today and also yesterday it has just been raining just all day on and off and so i've been really itching to get into the garden and you know if you are a true gardener rain really does not stop us so i have been um, bringing things inside, you know, cleaning up the pots, removing the dead leaves, um, adding a little uh, fertilizer to it, and I've started planting some things that like the cold temperatures. For example, in this stackable here, uh, I have planted pok choy. And what I tried to do is I tried to plant my pak choy as deep as I could so that just the leaves are above the surface of the soil and that is how they typically grow. And you know pak choy is one of those vegetables that as soon as it gets too warm they begin to die back. So I wanted to get these planted very soon. And here are some more seed starts um, that I have not transferred to their um, home just yet but I just brought them out to get some of this rainwater and because this particular container here these little containers they don't have holes in it um, I use them as my little starter pots but every one of these seedlings here I'm going to you know leave outside and then transfer them to either the home garden or the market garden a little later in this stackable here uh, I've planted um, spinach, and as you can see, uh, they are young seedlings just uh, bringing on the true leaves, and so I've done that. Uh, I've cleaned up this container here. This is my green onion, and of course the tops had died back, and so I just cut it back just to see what it will do, whether it will... Um, put on new shoots or whether I need to start the process all over again. Um, but here's some more spinach that I'm allowing to get acclimated. In this container here, guys, um, I've sown some seeds for arugula and I have cleaned up my two hanging baskets of strawberries and they both look like the strawberries are going to come back. And in this container here in the back, I've sown seeds for black seeded Simpson. Over here in my stackables here, I have kale. And as you can see, they're doing nicely. And on this crate here, this is where my herbs are typically located. And so I just brought my stackables inside, but I will be sowing seeds for parsley, basil, uh, marjoram, thyme, sage, uh, tarragon, and maybe one other herb that I would like to have here on the balcony. But as you can see, guys, there are a lot of pots that I'm going to need to clean out. Also, I love to have a lot of flowers on my balcony. And so all of these hooks that you see all around my balcony I usually have um, baskets of flowers and I also try to mix in some flowers in between my vegetables in other containers but also guys on the table here are lots of seedlings um, in this blue container here I have my Swiss chard uh, this is going to remain here on the balcony garden um, but here's some Swiss chard that will go to the market garden. Uh, this is, I've been reusing my collards. Okay, I've been reusing these little bonnie tags from when 
I purchased uh, transplants during the fall and they're really coming in handy. Uh, this is a tray of broccoli. Over here is a tray of cabbage. And here I have um, red giant mustards. And they have already started growing since planting because I'm looking at this one. This one is quite tall and it wasn't this tall when I put them in. In fact, I kind of buried them kind of deep. So I'm noticing some growth here. And over in this little container here, this is going to be my salad bowl. And I have placed um, the mesclun salad mix in this particular bowl. Just sown the seeds today. So, um, and you know, I've, as it's raining, sprinkling, what have you, I feel it's great time to start your seeds. And so, guys, you see here, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. I've got more leaves to sweep up, pots to clean out, but none of this soil is going to go to waste at all. Uh, this is my peppermint here. And so I'm just gonna clean this up. I'm already seeing some new growth coming in. So I just, oh, it smells so good just by me touching it. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna clean this up and allow that peppermint to come on through. And in this one here, this is my spearmint. And so, Okay, yes, I'm seeing some new growth in here as well. So, just going to cut back these dead branches and see um, how it comes back. If not, I have some seeds that I can just throw in there. And, of course, more cabbage here. Another tray of cabbage here. Guys, uh, when I sprinkled those cabbage seeds, I sprinkled way too many. Um, but hey, you can always give them away. Um, over there on the crate is a whole tray of spinach that's going to go also to the market garden. And those little containers, uh, they hold 18 um, pots. And of course, these are the little pots that you get from Dollar Tree. But if you ever go to Lowe's and you find these empty trays in the recycle stack, you, you know, you can grab them. They're free and they hold these little containers just perfectly. And it helps me to carry them around, you know, from the greenhouse or from inside the house to the garden uh, very easily. So I'm going to take you inside now, guys, and let you see what else I have growing under my shop lights inside. And the camera doesn't want to stop recording. Okay, so this is my setup for my young seedlings. I'm using a six foot table and I am using six shop lights, uh, three on top of the table and three below the table. And so I'm using um, all of the space of this table, uh, of the six foot table, so to grow things on top as well as growing things under the table now on top of the table guys you know i've started a lot of my peppers bell peppers cayenne peppers jalapeno peppers i also have mixed bell peppers and the different little mini um, bell peppers the yellow red and orange um, but also as you can see here the basil has shown up to the party and also my okra uh, is showing up and guys last year I think I sown okra seeds at least three times and so I'm so happy to see this success this year because I absolutely love okra and over here I have a couple of Brussels sprouts um, that have germinated still waiting for the others uh, to do something but not at, not yet 
Here I have more peppers, and many of them are growing so tall that it is now time that I elevate these shop lights just a little higher. And as you can see here, I'm using a quart size can to hold it up. In other areas, I'm using bricks. Um, but when I elevate from here, I usually go with a gallon size paint can and allow the shop lights to rest on the paint cans. Um, but normally you don't want the height of your shop lights to be too high above your young seedlings because it will cause them to reach for light and become very leggy. Um, but also guys, under the table are my tomato seedlings. And um, I purchased some cocktail tomatoes from Walmart a couple of weeks ago and they were absolutely delicious. So what I did is I saved uh, one of the, the seeds from one of them and didn't realize that it was going to generate so many seedlings. And so I kept all of them because even if I can't use it or don't want to plant it, I can always give it to someone else. But as you can see, lots of uh, tomato seedlings here. And uh, <clears throat> I used... Um, that Dollar Tree potting soil and guys I would really suggest that if you use it that you add some perlite to it and even some fertilizer because um, as I'm looking at it here it doesn't really want to soak up the moisture from the water below I'm having to water on top as well as below to try to uh, you know get the the plants to be able to soak up the soil but when you go a cheaper route sometimes these are the things that you have to deal with and then over here um, are more tomato seeds that I've sown but as you can see here uh, I used this container uh, prior to start my seeds of kale and I'm noticing that some kale seedlings are coming up but the rest should all be tomatoes but there you have it guys uh, as I've stated I really haven't been able to go outside I've been running out uh, on the balcony while it's raining just long enough to grab a pot bring it inside and sow seeds and then putting it back out because I really want to uh, get my hands in the dirt and get things going for this coming spring and I have adopted uh, Glade's Garden Girls theme for 2024 which is grow more in 2024 and I really believe in that and that is what I'm going to do this year and I am just so hopeful that I will be able to share. Even if I don't do the market garden, I want to be able to bless my friends uh, and neighbors with vegetables from my garden. Thank you so much guys for joining me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you and hope that you'll be inspired or encouraged to subscribe. And for those of you who continue to follow me, I thank you so much for your support and I hope that you are growing as well and growing more in 2024. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye.